limits of accuracy. We are going to continue with the calculation of two or more approximated numbers. You will find this on page 30 in the Namibia Mathematics Ordinary Level Textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Let's look at another example. Now in this case, it's not only two numbers, it's actually three numbers. Okay, and it's actually more than one calculation because there's a multiplication and this is a, di a, a division. The same, there's a subtraction and there's the division. But let's start at the point. Uh, remember, you always have to take the f individual numbers, the three numbers, and find the upper and the lower bounds. So calculate the lower and the upper bounds for the following calculations if each number is given to two significant figures. That's making it difficult because this is, okay, this is luckily 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1. Okay, so it's just 0 0.1. So it's, let's just get the pen. It's 0 0.1 divided by 2 every time. So I do it, subtract to get lower, add to get the upper. Subtract to get the lower, add to get the upper. Subtract to get the lower, uh, to get the upper. So first, that will always be your first step. Now, this is very important. Look at the calculations. This is a multiply. Now, in multiply, you will get the smallest possible answer by saying lower times lower, okay? And you will get the biggest possible answer by saying upper times upper. But this, there, up to there, it's division. Can you see that? So in division, you will get the smallest possible answer by saying lower divided by upper. So the lower divided by the upper. The biggest possible answer by saying the upper divided by the lower. So first just identify what values you will choose. Because don't forget, this is your lower bound, upper bound. Lower bound, upper bound. Lower bound, upper bound. Okay, so now it's easy. Just go to 4,2 and then substitute the lower bound. Okay, 4,15. Then go to 5,1 and substitute also, there's 5,1, substitute also the lower bound. Can you see? And divide it by 1.5, the upper bound, 1.55. Okay, then do the same here. Go to 4,2, upper, do you see? 5,1, 5,1, upper, divide by the lower bound of this one, 1.5. What is the lower bound of 1.5? 1.45. And then just press it in your calculator, and you, for this calculation, this calculation, this will be your lowest possible answer, and this will be your biggest possible answer. Okay. So let's look at the next one. Now in this case, it's the same. So there's the subtraction and there's the division. So don't forget, there's a subtraction, but in between is division. Now first think of division. If you want the smallest possible, this is division, the then it will be lower. Okay, so if I just want to, so let's just say it's going to be lower divide upper. That's for division. And then the biggest possible will be upper divide lower. But now you must remember this is subtraction. And if I want the biggest possible answer, it will be upper minus lower. And for this one, if I want the smallest possible answer for subtraction, it's lower minus upper. And that's what I did there. Okay. And now, don't forget again, this is my lower bound, my upper bound, my lower bound, my upper bound, my lower bound, my upper bound. Okay, and then I'm just going to substitute it in. So this is going to be, um, if I'm looking here, so if I go with the lower bound of 180. Now where is 180? Don't forget, this is actually, uh, let me just write it here, this is 180. This was 7.2, and this one was 0 0.95. So I want the lower bound of 180, which is 175. 
Then I want, look, 7.2, the upper bound, 7.2, the upper bound. And then I want, it's still the 7 point, uh, it's 0 0.95, the lower bound there, and that's what I substitute. Now the same here. I want 180, the upper bound, okay? 180, the upper bound, 185. And I want the lower bound of 7.2, 7.2, the lower bound, and I want the upper bound of 0 0.95, so it's 0 0.955. And then again, I just do the calculation. Okay, it's a bit complicated, but try to break, up it, break it up in steps, and then it's actually not so difficult. Okay. Okay, let's start. Calculate the lower and the upper bounds for the following calculation if each of the numbers is given to two significant figures. Now, I think what I'm going to do in this case, uh, that one is easy, that one, I'm just going to give you number, um, I'm going to give you two, number E and number F. Okay, because this is the only two that involves three numbers. So if you look at this one, so let's just start. This is, okay, I think the best will be to stop the video and as soon as you are finished, you can continue with the video. Okay, I'm going to start. Number E. So if it's 100 and it's 6.0, multiply 4.5 and this is and, and this is given to two significant figures okay so ooh it's going to be quite challenging here i think i'm going to use a little bit a different way of writing because because it's a bit more complicated this one so i'm going to take so for this first one for this first one i'm going to do it like this i'm just going to rewrite that one I'm just going to make it bigger so that I can do everything in one. Okay, I'm going to make it a hundred and then I'm going to give a nice line and then I'm going to be six, six point zero and it's going to be multiply four point five. And the reason why I'm doing it like, I want to write the upper and the lower here in the calculation just to, to help you a little bit. So in this case, don't forget, it's all too significant. So one, two, one, two, one, two. So this is meaning that this one, I put a one and the rest I put with zero. So it's 10 divided by two, do you see? So it's 10 divided by two, which is five. So if I want to find, and I'm going to say the upper bound, then in this case, it's, I'm going to, yes, I'm going to write it always, and this is my lower bound. So my lower bound, I subtract 5, and I will get 95. Okay. With my upper bound, I'm going to add 5, and I'm going to get 105. Okay. So, basically, if I start here, uh, this, I'm doing the same here. This is 0 0.1. Can you all see? It's just 0 0.1. So divide 2 it's going to be 0 0.05 and again I'm going to do it like this upper so in this case my upper bound is going to be 5.95 and my lower bound is going to be 6.05 and there my upper bound is going to be 4.45 and my lower bound is going to be 4.55 okay so basically this is going to be my upper and my lower bounds now the calculation remember if I want the biggest possible answer so in this case so if I want, okay, let's the calculation, the biggest, okay, let's do it here. We're going to do it here. Calculation. Okay, so the lowest possible. So in this case, 
I want the lowest possible, and it's division. So it's going to be lower, divide upper. But don't forget, and this one is going to be upper, because it's division, divide lower. But this is multiplication. So if I want for multiplication, the in this case, it's going to be the, the smallest one, because here, it's going to, or the biggest possible one, it's going to be upper times upper. And the smallest possible one here, it's lower times lower. And now I can just put it in. Okay, and if I put it in, what is going to be the lower bound here? Now I can just check it here, 9, 5. What is the upper bound here? 5.95. What is the upper bound here? 4.45. This one, okay, so uh, let's just see. Oh, no, 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 no. I, there's a mistake. Oh, okay, okay. Let's just correct this mistake. Okay, I'm, I'm, I see the mistake. Although I write lower, this is my upper and this, I must just switch this to. I'm just going to correct it. Sometimes when you do a thing, you see there's a mistake, and then just go back to the origin. Okay? Okay, the problem was here, and I'm going to just get a nice rubber here. So this one is 6.05. In five point, and the same was happening here. I want the upper on top. Okay, so let's just go. Uh, so this will be 6.05, and this one was 5.95, and this upper here is going to be 4.55. The lower is going to be 4.4. Okay, now this is correct. This is all correct. Now I'm just going to rewrite that calculation. So if I do, what is the lower? Do you see the lower? That's easy, it's 95. What is the upper here? Upper, oh, now it's better. And what is the upper here? 4.55. Okay, and the same here. What is the upper there? It's 105. What is my lower? 5.95 times 4.45. And then my calculation. And if I press this on my calculator, this is going to be 3,451. Don't approximate it. And this is going to be 3,96. Six. Okay, and this is how I do that. I think I'm going to do it exactly in the same way. Okay, let's just make space because I think we're going to need space. It just helps to keep a little bit track of the difference because there's quite a lot of numbers. Okay, if so let's do it again. It's 160, even draw a nice line. And now I'm even going to make the numbers a little bit lower. So it's 9.3 minus 6.5. Now don't forget, it's two significant figures. So two, 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 two. It's almost like the same one. So put a one, fill the rest zero. So this is actually just 10 divided by 2, and this is 0 0.1 divided by 2. So this will be 5, and this will be 0 0.05. Okay. So again, um, always the first step. Upper, lower. Upper, lower. Upper, lower. Okay, so if I find this one, so it's 160 plus 5, so it's 165. And this is 160 minus, so it's going to be 155. Okay, 
and then the same here this is 9.3 minus 0 0.05 so this is going to be 9.35 first first upper so plus uh, we're not going to make this nine same mistake 9.35 and then I subtract 0 0.05 and it's 9.25 for the upper I add, so what is it going to be? 6.55, for the lower I subtract, so it's 6.45. And now I start with the calculation. Don't forget, there is a division and there is a subtraction, that's the two. But, but let's start to say, okay, the calculation. Let's first focus on the division. So if I want the smallest possible answer, it will be lower, divide upper. And for the biggest, start with upper and divide the lower. And now break this one into subtraction. So for, for subtraction, if I want the biggest one, this will be upper minus lower. And for subtraction, the smallest one, lower minus upper. So first do the division and then comes to the subtraction and then just start filling it in. So the calculation Ah, oh, I made a mistake again. Can I show you where? Maybe you saw it. It must not be an equal sign. Okay, so always check yourself. So for this one I want the lower, so it's going to be 155 I want the upper, upper of this one, so it's 9.35 um, minus, and I want the lower for this one, 6.45. Okay, that is my calculation there. And then for this one, I want the lower of the upper, what is the upper, 165? Oh, the pen. What is the lower? The lower here, it's 9.25. And what is the upper year? 6.45. And again, just press it in your calculator. Okay, so do that calculation, do that calculation. And the lowest possible one for the calculation. And I think I'm going to write it like this. I will keep the calculation there. And the lowest one will be 53.448. And the upper one will be 61.111. And actually, it's always good to answer, look at the question, calculate the lower. So, therefore, say the lower bound. And repeat this, 53.448, and the upper bound, 61.123. And that's how you do it. In the next video, we will look at practical examples.